Good evening. It was a dramatic overnight shooting in the northbound lanes of Highway 410 near Sandalwood Parkway. The shooting apparently involving moving vehicles, one of them eventually swerving into a ditch. A man believed to be in his 20s is dead, and another man, also in his 20s, seriously injured and rushed to hospital. Police are still on the hunt for suspects. American Natividad on Checkerbury Crescent and Gettys Lane. It's a residential neighborhood just east of the initial scene. It was here that another suspect vehicle, a black Audi SUV, SUV was ditched moments after the shooting. That vehicle was riddled with bullet holes, and we know that the bullets came from the gun of a police officer. Now the province's police watchdog is investigating what unfolded. At roughly 2.30 a.m., police received a report about a shooting on Highway 410 North between Beauvair Drive East and Sandalwood Parkway East. Upon arriving at the scene, officers encountered a man who had sustained a gunshot wound. They also observed an Audi SUV. To block the Audi from going forward, uh, the officers attempted to block the vehicle, and when they did so, the Audi reversed, and at that time, one officer discharged his firearm multiple times at the Audi. Lino Spampanato witnessed the entire police interaction. The tow truck driver was responding to help recover the car in the ditch when he says a man in a gray hoodie with a gunshot wound to his neck attempted to flag him down. He was telling me that he was shot and he was dying to help him and I kept telling him don't get in the truck. Moments later he says the Audi pulled up in front of his truck on the driver's side. He says the gunshot victim knew the driver and fearing for his life Spampanato jumped out of his vehicle. I ran out to the middle of the highway and I saw a Peel Cruiser uh, SUV uh, high rate of speed coming in the in the fast lane and I ran out and started jumping like this and screaming and screaming. Peel Cruiser came in tried to block him out okay um, the, the officer opened the door, uh, the other guy in the hood fell back up against the cruiser, uh, shots were fired. Spampanato says he saw five to seven shots fired, but the Audi still managed to get away. The suspect is still at large, but it's unknown if he sustained any injuries as a result of the gunfire. While the mandate of the SIU is to investigate any police interaction that results in serious injury or death, Monica Houdon says the police watchdog invoked its mandate as a precautionary measure. So an officer discharged his firearm, a vehicle was struck, Somebody may or may not have been injured, and so we need to be called in so that we can start fresh right at the beginning to see if this is something that we will continue to investigate. Meanwhile, Spampanato has handed over dash cam footage to police. He remains shaken but thankful to the officers who heeded his calls. He saved my life because if he didn't show up there, I'd be on the side of that road right now under that yellow bag like that young kid. Now, there were also reports that a, uh, the suspect may have carjacked an Uber vehicle. That has not been confirmed. At this hour, a stretch of the 410 remains closed, and the SRU are appealing to any witnesses to come forward, whether they saw the interaction with police or if they saw the vehicle being ditched here in this neighborhood in Brampton.